Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the paint house problem. There are a row of N houses. Each house can be painted with one of three colors, red, blue, or green. The cost of painting each house with a certain color is different. You have to paint all the houses such that no two adjacent houses have the same color, and you need to cost the least. Return the minimum cost. The cost of painting each house with a certain color is represented by a m by 3 cost matrix. For example, cost sub 0 sub 0 is the cost of painting house 0 with color red. Cost sub, sub 1 sub 2 is the cost of painting house 1 with color green, and so on. Find the minimum cost to paint all houses. Here they give you an example. The input is this, and the output is 10. So the minimum cost of painting all the houses is 10 because first you paint first you paint with blue then green and then blue so as you can see no two adjacent houses can have the same color so first you have blue then green and then blue and that's the and that's a valid configuration and the minimum cost is 10 so this is the minimum configure this is the configuration that gives you the minimum cost so, in order to solve this problem, what we can do is that we can use dynamic programming. So we can use storage to keep track of the previous computation, and we can reuse those computations to find um, the final result. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to check if cos equals equals no, or cos that length equals equals zero or cos sub zero that length equals equals zero I just return zero because if the input is not valid then I will return zero as the minimum cost then I can use um, a two-dimensional array of integers for the DP array I can use dynamic programming um, array so I can use a two-dimensional array of integers for that but I can also use the same one I can modify the input itself so for simplicity I'm just gonna I'm just gonna modify the input itself but if you want you can actually allocate um, one two-dimensional array of integers for this purpose so I'm gonna say for integer i gets the value of one i is less than cost that length plus plus i Then I will say cos sub i sub zero. So the cost for this house uh, painting with painting with color red, I have to add the minimum cost of the previous house painting with the possible colors that are the other colors. Math that mean of cost i minus one for the previous house. Now this is red, so I can use blue, and also costs for the previous house, and I can also use green. And then I do the same for the other colors. Now for this house, a position I, for when the color is blue, I add the minimum cost, math that mean, of the previous house with the other possible colors. Costs sub i minus 1 for the previous house sub 0 because this is this is blue here so I can use red or cos sub i minus 1 green finally for this house when the color is green for this house I add up the minimum cost math that mean of costs so by minus one now because this is green I can use red and in the previous house I can also use the blue color so then by the end I can find um, the, the minimum cost of the last house with the three possible colors 
and that's the one I'm going to return. So I can say return math.min math.min of cos sub cos dot length minus one sub zero cos sub cos dot length minus one sub one and cos sub cos that length minus one sub two so as you can see what I do at the end is that I check the last house um, and I check which color ending at which color gave me the minimum cost and that's what I return the minimum cost so I'm gonna run the code it seems to be working fine when I submit the solution. All right, so this is working perfectly. Um, so the time complexity, as you can see, would be big O of N. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.